Veeam Games Inc. has identified a subset of VMware virtual machine workloads for a disaster recovery pilot. To facilitate the requirement for near real-time replication, you position Veeam CDP or Veeam Continuous Data Protection. Veeam Games Inc. is concerned that downtime on the Veeam bathroom replication server, such as during a patch cycle, will disrupt replication and impact their disaster recovery strategy. What happens to CDP replication when the backup replication server is unavailable? Now, if at this point you are not so familiar with CDP, I would strongly recommend to pause the video, go look it up in the user guide, and then come back again to figure out so, so that you have some sensibility on, on what is this actually, uh, which components are involved. But basically we have some CDP uh, proxies that are deployed on the source and of course on the target. And uh, it works with policies. These policies are created on the backup server and then pushed out to the proxies. So uh, they're not actually using the backup server in this instance, but let, let's see what options we have here. Option one, uh, replication pauses and we'll pick up where it left. Uh, no, because first of all, it, it's, it's, it's not a job. Right. There's no job that needs to be manually restarted. That's it's it's a policy. And replication fails, and the policy needs to be manually restarted. Uh, no, there's there's actually no starting uh, stopping like that of the policies. So it it it's it's also wrong. Uh, replication picks up where it left off automatically once <clears throat> the backup replication coordinator service is back online. No. Uh, nothing, nothing is impacted because we, we don't actually need this backend replication server to be running. And option four, existing replication policies continue interrupted. Yes, existing is the keyword here, right? Because what's already been configured as a policy, it's pushed out to the CDP proxies. They will continue working. You can't make any changes. Uh, you can't add or remove anything until the backup and replication server is up and running again. 